Hey guys, it's Michael and I'm here with Matt. Hey everybody. We are back with another Let's Play video. Last time we played Supermodels. And I won. He did win. Mm -hmm. But uh, thank you to everybody who left a suggestion as to what game you wanted to see us play next. There were a lot of people who actually wanted us to play uh, Chef Chef's Challenge. Challenge. Yep. But we found that that was a little too close to Supermodels. So today we've decided to challenge each other to a game of Bathtub Battles. So Matt, are you good at bathtub battles? I think so, yeah. I was practicing earlier today. Uh-oh. <laughs> bathtub battles is the Webkin's version of battleships. But instead of battleships, you're actually trying to sink your opponent's pirate ships. And you do that by um, dropping cannonballs on them. So I'm in the tournament arena. That's where you're going to find the game. You actually can also find a version of the game in the fun stuff section of the W shop. You just drag and drop the uh, Bathtub Battles playing board into your friend's room and you can play right in your room. So I'm going to scroll down the list of games here. There it is. Click on uh, Dogbeard's Bathtub Battles. I can tell Matt's online. So I'm going to click on his uh, name there and click the invite friend button. Okay. So the second I push yes, we're going to start. For the first part of this game, you have to set up your fleets of battleships. Now Matt and I each get to do this. While I'm setting up my fleet here, um, Matt is gonna set up his pirate ships. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to see that on the video, but for the rest of this video, you're actually gonna only be able to see my screen. So you'll be able to see Matt dropping cannonballs and trying to hit my boats, but you won't be able to see where his are. So pay attention when he's setting up his pirate ships. Try to remember where they are. And uh, you guys can laugh at me when I'm very far off trying to drop <laughs> these cannonballs on this on his fleet. But no, who knows? Let, we'll, we'll see what happens, of course. Matt won the last game, so mm -hmm. I've got a lot of pressure here to win this one. Good luck. Now it's time for me to put my ships on the grid. Usually, you do this at the same time as your opponent, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna do it separately. It's just like almost decorating your room. You can rotate them, you can move them, but you really have to find a strategic way of setting these up. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of strategy in this, especially if you know the person, you try to read their mind. Yeah, and actually the cool thing about this game is there's actually special moves that you can use that allows you to throw more than one cannonball, for example, or scope out an area to see if you can find your opponent. So there we go. We've both set up our boards, and now we're going to take turns dropping cannonballs on the other fleet's pirate ships to see if you can locate where they are. So it looks like I start. Oh my gosh, okay. So he's got the advantage already. Okay. So now let me see what I'm going to do here. I can choose any square on the board here. And this actually is where my ships are lined up. So I can remember. Okay, this is just a blank shot in the dark here. So along the right, there's those special moves. Not all the special moves are available at the start of the game, but you'll unlock them as you go along. Oh my gosh. So Matt, what's your strategy here? You're just randomly dropping stuff all over the board? Um, no, I have a strategy, but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> that would probably be a good move. Last time we played this, we were testing. That's I... true. And Matt, would you like to reveal who won that test round? That doesn't matter. The point <laughs> is, <laughs> I tricked Michael into uh, thinking I was somewhere and I wasn't. That was true. That was really mean and tricky, but also a pretty cool strategy. Okay, so I'm not hitting anything in that corner there. So here I see that there's a, a flare. A flare. So that will reveal. Oh, so I need to actually have part of your ship showing in order to use that, correct? Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, so the other ones, I'm not quite ready yet, so I'm just going to drop a cannonball. Oh my gosh. So far he has avoided so, the round. Uh, oh my gosh. I just used the big cannon, which is a full two by two square. Is that the one on the top? No, that's the third one. Okay. Huh, I haven't unlocked that yet. Oh, no, wait, there we go. It's the fourth one, the Big Shot Cannon, right? Yep. Okay, here we go. Come on. Woo! Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Sunk one of your ships in just one move. There you go. I like how this game is starting out. Oh, my gosh. Okay, good. So if you watched our last video, um, you would have known that Matt actually beat me. So I've got a lot of pressure this time to win. So... I am actually going to use this one. This is going to shoot five at once. Oh my gosh, uh. I got another one. Okay, it looks like you're grouping your ships pretty close together, Matt. I'm on top of your strategy. I don't want to talk about it. Woo! Missed that one. So now I'm going to show you how the flare works. I'm going to click on the flare, click 
click on that square, or do I have to click? No. You have to click where you think it would be, and then it'll reveal the rest of the ship. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh, he did there it. it is. I revealed the ship, and it's the biggest pirate ship in his fleet. So I'm using the Perrin now, and this will um, reveal an area, oh, but no. it won't do any damage, which I found a ship. No! See, now I have to think of a strategy here. Do I go ahead and, and reveal or, or attack this ship right away, or do I spend some time looking around? I'm going to look in a couple more spaces to see if I can find another ship. That was not successful. So it looks like Matt is also trying to reveal something here. See, I'm, I'm going close together now because now I'm all paranoid thinking that he's got all of his ships close together because that's something tricky that Matt would do. Right, Matt? Yes. So I'm using the last power up here, which uh, shoots in a really wide area, but it's random where it lands. So I'm going to stick oh that there. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm going to do the same thing. See, I don't know if you're going to be over in this corner, but I'm going to try anyway. Holy cow. Oh. <laughs> well, it's pretty close. There's still a long way to go. Lots of pirate ships to reveal. Oh my gosh. Was that another power move? Yeah, so I used the um, the big shot cannon against, again. Oh, okay, it, right. Some of them come back like, if you wait a bit. That's true. So I'm going to... Oops. Uh, let me use the big shot cannon here too. Ah! Nope. By the way, Matt and I cannot see each other's screens. That's We're right. actually in two different rooms right now, <laughs> believe it or not. Separ separated by a glass. Exactly. Glass so he can still mock me by making silly faces through the glass. Now I'm going to just get that ship out of the way. Oh no. So there we go, that's two. Got one more of his ship to go. Well, actually more but I know the location of one of them oh yes. my gosh yes hope has been restored okay so we tied right now essentially we both uh, have three right I have more revealed though oh my gosh actually no I've no I've sunk three of your pirate ships right you've only sunk one of mine but you have two others revealed so yeah. let's see here I've got my fireworks cannon so I'm gonna shoot out some a signal here to see if I can find a ship, and I can't. That's not good. Oh no, I'm running out of time here. I gotta do something. Uh, let me see. I bet you he's got something over here. Oh my gosh. Oh no, this is not looking good. My hands are actually starting to sweat. It's <laughs> getting close. <laughs> so this just shows you, you can, uh, you can pretty much turn this around. Totally turn it around. Um, and I'm running out of those power moves. But I'm going to send out my scout here to see if I can find oh. anything. And there we go. Good old pirate or parrot scout hunting down these ships for me. So now this is the fourth pirate ship of Matt's that I'm working on. Once I get this one, there's only one left. He just sunk. Now he's got one left too. Okay, this is going to be close. So what are you going to do here, Matt? What are you thinking? What's your strategy? I'm going to... I'm going to just, just uh, destroy what I know you have and then probably find the other ones with my scout. Well, that's not very nice. Let's see if I can find one of yours. Oh. Okay, come on now. I'm at it's the over. Home stretch. No, it's, it's not. Oh no. See, this is the thing with this game. When you reveal uh, the ship's location, you never know which side to go with, and you could waste a turn trying to sink it. So let's see here. See, there you go. I went in the wrong direction, but I'm really close here. But Matt could do a lot of damage right here. I don't even know where you would be. I'm going to use my scout. I'm going to stick it right. I'm pretty sneaky here. in this one. I've got to admit. Okay, so you're behind there. Oh my <laughs> gosh. I know you too well. Oh my gosh. Is it going to be enough? Well, what size is your ship? I'm not telling you. Oh no. Oh, 
This I'm gonna be off by one, I think. There yes. we go. Oh. So there you go. I finally won a game against Matt, and I sunk his five pirate ships, and I won the game. Good job, Matt. Thank you. Good job. We're Thank one you. one. Tied one one <laughs> overall. Um, this is a lot of fun. Matt and I love doing this, so we'd love to hear what game uh, you guys would like to see us play next. Mm -hmm. Um, it could be a tournament arena game. It could be an arcade game. Yep, it doesn't necessarily have to be a two-player game. It could be pretty much anything in the arcade. Exactly. So, um, guys, I hope you had fun watching this video. Please, again, leave uh, comments below of which game you would like to see next. Matt? Yep. I, I wish you better luck <laughs> in our next game, and hopefully uh, you can beat me that time. Sure. No, so it's 1-1 overall. Uh, stay tuned to find out uh, who will take the lead in the next Matt versus Mike game. Bye. Bye.